Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another uh, advent calendar unboxing. As you can see, today we're going to see what's inside the face and body ASUS advent calendar. Uh, so this advent calendar is actually really good. Uh, some people say that the last year's was better, but you know, I did not really get the last year's because it was I didn't really see anything that interesting in there. Whereas this one seemed like really exciting for me. So I wanted to buy it anyway, but it turns out that it was reduced like 20% with a discount code. So I paid like 60 pounds for it instead of 75, which was like an amazing deal, I think. So this advent calendar, as you can see, comes with a tote bag uh, and with a scarf uh, here. I mean, the scarf is not really, I mean, it's really pretty and it feels really nice and all, but it's not really something I would probably wear. So I am actually keep it as a part of the bag or I might gift it to someone. I don't know yet. I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet, uh, but I don't think that's something I'm going to wear. It's just not really my style. Okay, uh, so let's see what's in this advent calendar. So inside the tote bag we have a simple uh, box. So it's not like a, a sturdy reusable box. It's quite flimsy. So this is just like... um one use and I'll just have to check it out uh, and the advent calendar inside looks like this this is I think the um, classic layout of Asus advent calendars you just get like all those tiny boxes and you just grab them one by one okay so let's start so the box number one is this one here and our first product is actually a really good one. So this is a full-size Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Hydrating Mask with Avocado and Glacier Water. So I haven't tried this particular mask, but I tried the one with apricot. Uh, the one with apricot was not like an overnight uh, mask. It was uh, the type of mask that you put on your face and then rinse it, like a classic mask. And I loved it. So I can't wait to try this one now. Uh, this is 75 mils, uh, a really good size, a full size, obviously. So this is a very good start. Number two is this one here. And here we have... Dr. Popo, uh, this is multi-purpose soothing balm with natural popo for lips, cheeks and cosmetic finishing with a hint of tint. Yeah, uh, there you go. <laughs> I mean, yes, this is a full size, so that's good, right? Um, like, to be honest, the classic yellow one, colorless, is my favorite because it is actually a multitasking uh, balm for like anything. This one is tinted, so obviously you don't really want to use it on your like cuticles or like, you know, dry skin in your elbows because it will just be not only dry skin, but it will also be brown. So, I don't know, that doesn't really look that great. Also, it says here for lips, cheeks and, um, you know, cosmetic finishing. Uh, I heard some people suggesting that you can apply it on your eyelids, but this is very sticky. So I would only apply it to my lips, if anything. Um, I wouldn't really want to have anything sticky on my cheeks or on my eyelids, because that would be weird. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's a full size for those of you who haven't tried this. Uh, particular particular color. I think it's actually the nicest of them all. I mean, I tried the orange, red, and pink, and I think this one is the prettiest. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I have one of those, and um, I think one is enough. All right, number three. Is it going to be a sheet mask? It is not a sheet mask. This is a Beauty Works Argan Serum, 30 ml of that serum. Uh, I think I have a sachet like that somewhere. So this is a, a Beauty Works Argan Serum 30 ml and this is a full size product. And then we have a comb with it. Uh, I really appreciate the fact that they put these two things in one box, not in two separate ones. Like I really admire them <laughs> for that. Uh, this uh, serum, I'm not really sure if it's going to be good for me. Argan oil tends to be a little bit too heavy for my hair. Uh, but uh, if I'm not going to use it, Robert will. His hair uh, is more like coarse and a little thicker, so yeah, someone will use it, okay? And I actually don't really have anything like that. I don't have any comb uh, just to brush maybe like some hair after styling, which I almost never do. But if I do, then I will have a comb to, you know, kind of like help me with that. All right, number four is a tiny one here. So here we have Egyptian Magic uh, All-Purpose Skin Cream. So this one, uh, I've never actually tried that one before. 
but this seems to be like a proper all-purpose uh, thing it doesn't have any tint to it uh, it is yeah it feels quite nice it smells nice i mean i like that type of scent yeah, it actually feels quite nice on my skin uh, and this is like a proper multitasker uh, just like the regular regular yellow um, Dr. Popo product uh, and definitely I'll get much more uses out of that one. Number five. That one's very light. Okay, we have Urban Decay. This is All Nighter Face Primer. Longwear, longwear. Longwear Foundation Grip. Hmm. That sounds interesting. I've never ever tried that particular primer. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put it in my uh, makeup bag and I give it a go next time when I apply my makeup. Just so you know, this is five mils, so more of a sample size, uh, but I'm pretty sure it will last me for a couple of uses. All right, number six. Number six is here. And here we have something green. And it's Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Do you know, I do love cleansing balms. I do love, um, especially like Yvelom, Elemis, and Emma Hardy, which is gorgeous. I've never tried that one. At least I don't think I've ever tried that one. Uh, so I'm quite excited to, to give it a go. Why not? I mean, another uh, balm to add to my favorites, maybe. Let me just quickly, yeah. So this is 15 mils uh, and I have to tell you, this one is actually the sort of product I find exciting in advent calendars, uh, especially the ones that I haven't tried before. So number seven is here. So here we have Olaplex and this is number three, which is uh, the uh, pre-shampooing treatment. So you just apply it on your hair before shampooing, on your damp hair. Then after like 10, 15 minutes, you just rinse it off and then just, you know, proceed with the, your regular hair care. So here we have 30 mils. Uh, that will probably, that won't probably last me for long. Uh, I'll probably get like one use out of that, maybe two, if I'm lucky. Uh, but oh well. I do love products like that. I mostly use elasticizer, but uh, I don't mind using Olaplex uh, here and there. So yeah, I'm definitely happy with that day. Uh, moving on to number eight. This one is actually quite heavy. And here we have a full... Oh, this is big. This is 100 ml Revolution Glycolic Polisher. Gently exfoliates to reveal a brighter, fresher complexion. And look how big it is. I do love trying new um, chemical exfoliants, so this one is definitely going straight away to my bathroom and I'm going to test it today. Number nine, very light. And here we have uh, some Estelle there and this is Advanced Night Repair Synchronized Multi-Recovery multi Complex. So this is a gorgeous anti-aging serum. I've tried it a couple of times before uh, and uh, I can't really tell you I swear by it because I have serums I prefer over this one. So this is the type of serum that I think will work better with uh, more mature skin. Uh, okay, number 10 is this one here. And we have a full-size, ordinary, plant-derived squalane. Squalane? Squalane? I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. Anyway, this is, again, one of those products I haven't tried. This is actually really good because so far, um, there are quite many products I haven't tried before. So that's really good. That's really good. I love discovering new products through Advent calendars. So this is 100 percent plant derived squalane uh, a lightweight plant derived solution to support healthy hydration uh, i've never tried it i want to try it i'm going to try it maybe not today but i'm really happy to have something a little bit different and uh something i haven't tried before uh and you know what being like um subscription box addict and having all those boxes in advent calendars it's really difficult to get an advent calendar that actually provides you with products you haven't tried before number 11 and here we have some lashes i like getting lashes in advent calendars but the thing is i don't really like uh, putting them on <laughs> for some reason i mean i'm too lazy okay i'm too lazy to do that i'm like whenever i want to do that i'm like ah uh, no should i just put my lashes on just to record a video then maybe you know maybe maybe i just won't uh like my lashes my natural lashes are short and uh, straight and you know 
nothing to write home about to be honest uh, so I should probably just wear the fake lashes a little bit more regularly but uh, yeah well maybe I will maybe I will at some point maybe I'll just motivate myself to do that so, but yeah I wouldn't really I wouldn't really focus on that too much okay number 12 okay so number 12 is Kudali this is Vino Perfect uh, Com Radiance Serum that's supposed to be complexion correcting um, here's the thing uh, I know most people love Kudali for me my skin just doesn't. The Kudali products usually irritate my skin. Um, I don't know why, because I've never actually heard anybody complaining about those products, but my skin just doesn't like them. So that's it. I think it's a good product, but I can't really tell you much about it. Uh, I've tested some of those products. They, they usually uh, cause some like reaction on my skin. So I just, I'm not going to try this one. I'm just not going to try it. I'm just going to give it to someone who will appreciate it more than my skin. All right, number 13. Uh, and here we have a Gua Sha stone. Uh, so, oh, and this is by Psychic Sisters. So this is how our Gua Sha stone looks. Uh, it feels nice. I, uh, I think I have a um, nice collection of those Gua Sha stones, like at least three of them. Uh, in my toolbox. I have a uh, box of facial tools uh, and I just don't use them. I just don't know why, but I, I'm struggling. Uh, I mean, I don't mind using like face devices. I, for some reason I can find time to use them, but like with tools, I just don't know. So this is probably going to find a new home because uh, I, I can only have so many guashas, right, <laughs> that I don't use anyway. But then Again, if you use it, it's supposed to make your skin look more youthful. So, yeah, I recommend trying, but I can't really tell you if it works or not, because I, I don't know. Okay, number 14 is this one here. And here we have a sleek, uh, life-proof, 12-hour wear call eyeliner. Uh, in shade Blackmail. So it's going to be a black one. I... Um, I don't use black pen eyeliner, so I'm not going to open it and swatch it for you. I mean, it's a black pen, so I don't really expect anything spectacular here or like surprising, right? I usually go for like a colored liners because, uh, yeah, I have tiny eyes. I don't really want to make them look even smaller. Uh, and also I do like a little bit of color, like extra color in my makeup. Anyway, number 15, this is the box here. And here we have We Are Paradox Repair 3-in-1 Conditioner. Apparently this will provide you with a silk-like softness. That sounds gorgeous. I do love testing new hair products. I mean, I'm not so crazy about like shampoo because to me a shampoo is a shampoo. I don't really find them that much different. Uh, but uh, conditioners and hair masks, uh, I love trying new ones. So yeah, I've never tried that one. Number 16 is this one here. And here we have Deep Sleep Body Cocoon, a multitasking beauty sleep saver for better nights and brighter mornings. So you can apply it all over your body, on your hands, and uh, do you know what? Like last year, in every single advent calendar, you had, you had like a spray. I think this is the one making grounds this year. I saw it in reviews of so many advent calendars that I'm going to have quite a stash of these, I think. This is a nice product. I mostly use it on my hands um, before going to sleep. Um, and yeah, it's very calming. It's very relaxing. Um, that's all I have to say about it. It's not like a, a super exciting one for me. This is 100 mils too, so a full size. Yep, number 17. And here we have a scrunchie. Yay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm quite happy with this one uh, because this is something amazing for my hair. So the invisible spirals, they tangle my hair like crazy. I don't know why they're supposed to not to do that, but they do. Um, whereas the normal scrunchies, they kind of like slide down of my hair. My hair is like very like slick and straight and all. Uh, so these are a perfect solution. Um, they just hold my hair, they don't tangle my hair. I'm really happy to have it here. Even though it might seem like a filler day for some of you, I actually really like this product. And uh, yeah, really, really happy with that one. Number 18 is this one, this very thin and flat one. And we have a face mask by Dr. Jard. 
si Soothing Hydra Solution. Sheet mask with Aquaxil and Quick Soothing Complex infuses skin with soothing moisture and conditions skin. I do like getting sheet masks in uh, advent calendars. Uh, I don't really buy them. I don't really just buy them by myself. I just always wait for them to appear in my boxes or advent calendars. So, yeah. Number 19. And here we have another liner, but this is the finer liner by Seattle London. And I think this one is actually much better shade for my needs. So this liner is in the shade Starburst. Uh, so this is like a golden shade. I'm going to swatch this one actually for you because this is a little bit, oh, okay. You can't really see much on my skin. Can you, can you see a little bit? You can see probably a little bit here. <laughs> so this is the type of shade. Uh, this is a, um, a type of liner I would usually use on my eye corners here when doing makeup just to brighten it up a little bit. Uh, so yeah, this one definitely more useful for my needs uh, than the black one. So I'm glad to, uh, to, to have it here. Number 20 is massive. Massive. And it's actually quite heavy too. So let's see. Oh, okay. Okay. I think this is my favorite box uh, so far. This is Elemis Soothing Apricot Toner, full size, massive, 200 mils. I've had that before, this is gorgeous. Especially if you have dry skin, this soothes your skin and this is actually a perfect base uh, for under your hy hyaluronic acid. Because uh, it's always good to apply your hyaluronic acid uh, when your skin is a little bit damp. So you can just spray it with a toner, then apply a hyaluronic acid and then you just lock that moisture uh, that the toner provides you next to your skin. So yeah, this one is a really good one. I'm really happy. Uh, I remember people saying that in the last year's advent calendar there was this marine collagen cream, which I'm personally not a massive fan of, so I do prefer the toner, definitely. Okay, number 21. And here we have, okay, this is another good one. This is MAC lipstick, matte lipstick uh, in shade Whirl. So we have a full-size MAC lipstick. Cool. So this is the shade, it's gorgeous. I'm so glad it's not another red one. I know most people kind of expect like red lipstick in advent calendars, but I have so many red ones that this is stunning. This is so much up my alley. I love this shade. So yeah, I'm really, really chuffed with this one. I'm really happy uh, this was a good day. I really hope the last three days will be just as good. Okay, so number 22 is this big one here. And we have another double set. So we have a nail file, which is, again, I'm so happy they did not put this in separate boxes because a nail file is probably the worst filler day ever. <laughs> like literally. And this nail file is like a, like a proper cheapie. But the main product from this box is a nails and cuticle oil by Le Mini Macaron. Mini Macaron, yeah. Uh, and this is in Rose Kiss. So this is how it looks. Well, let me just have a quick sniff if it smells like roses or not. I'm just going to apply it directly on my cuticles. Yeah. Yeah, it does smell like roses, but it's not like a very intense scent. It's like a very gentle rosy scent. So yeah, I'm quite happy to have it. I mean, my uh, cuticles need some extra care. So yeah, I'm quite happy to have like another um, cuticle oil to put on my bedside table. All right, number 23 is this one here. And here we have an eyeshadow palette by Anconic London. So this is the warm and blushing palette. We have four shades here. As you can see, I can quickly swatch them for you because why not, right? So these are the swatches. It's like a really pretty uh, color selection if you like warm tones. If you are more about like cool tones, then this might not be very much for you. But yeah, it's actually quite pretty. It is um, easy to work with, definitely. Uh, so yeah, we have a little eyeshadow palette. And the last uh, box, box number 24, it's very tiny, it's very light. I'm really curious what's inside. So, okay. 
So day number 24, we have Charlotte's Magic Cream um, with SPF 15 and this is 7 mils. And this is a gorgeous cream, really nice one, but why are we finding this in, number, in day number 24? Like, you know, a sample size of a cream, I mean, however luxurious this is, this is still a sample. Why don't we get, why didn't we get like a, a toner or like a face mask, like a full size product in this last uh, box? I don't understand that. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I think this advent calendar, I'm just going to tell you my uh, thoughts straight away. I think this advent calendar is really good one, especially for the price. I mean, the content is amazing. There are so many new products for me. Uh, the products that are not new are really good and tested. Uh, the only thing I did not really like that much was that uh, the Dr. Popo lip balm, but that was pretty much the only thing. There are quite many full sizes. Everything is amazing. And then this. I mean, they could have arranged it a little bit better. So that's the only thing I have to say. I still think this is an amazing value advent calendar, especially in that price range. Uh, and especially with a 20% discount that you could get it with. So these are my thoughts, uh, but I would love to know what you actually think about this advent calendar. Did you get one of these for yourself? Uh, or maybe this was a pass for you? Please let me know that in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. For more uh, advent content, check those videos here. I'm going to see you very soon in my next video. Take care. Bye.